Hi, I'm Joel from Remington Ammunition, and today we're talking pheasant and upland hunting basics. When you're out in the field, you might run into pointers, retrievers, flushers, sometimes dogs that can do a little bit of everything. Your dog really is your best friend when they're out there hunting with you, uh, and it's important to be able to recognize a point. When you see your buddy's dog go on point, the dog will go totally still, they'll keep their nose pointed at the bird, their tail straight back, and sometimes even their front arm cocked. That'll let you know that they found a bird and you need to get ready to take a shot. So depending on where you're hunting and which state, that'll depend on when you get out in the field to chase some roosters. Pheasants like to feed earlier in the morning, so you're gonna notice they're coming out into cropland, like cut corn, um, milo, to get breakfast. We're in Kansas right now hunting, so that means we're up with the sunrise and we're out in the field trying to catch the birds as they're feeding a little bit in the morning. Some states like South Dakota, you're gonna get up a little bit later and get into the field later as well, around 10 a.m. or even noon. Later on in the day, you're gonna see the birds move back into some thicker cover towards the middle of the day. In the evening, the birds are gonna come back out of that thicker cover and go back into some crop to feed. So if you didn't get your bag filled in the morning, don't worry, keep staying out there, keep hunting, and you might get your chance in the late afternoon. So the only shot you wanna take is on a rooster. Make sure when you see the birds get up, you call out hen or rooster, depending on what you're looking at. You're gonna notice them right away. The roosters are big, heavier birds, very colorful. They've got long tail feathers. The hens are smaller, a little more drab. You wanna call out hen or rooster to make sure that your fellow hunters know what's up in the air. Just like when you're on the trap, skeet, or sporting range, you're gonna to wanna to lead the rooster a little bit as they get up. Typically, the bird's gonna get up in front of you 15, 20 yards and then fly straight away. So expect a shot a lot like a, you might see on the trap range. You just never know what the roosters are gonna do. Sometimes they'll fly out and away from you. That's most common. Sometimes you're gonna see them crossing the line. Sometimes they might even fly back at you. So it's important to be prepared for any kind of shot. One major difference between pheasant and waterfowl hunting is that you can have more than three shells in your gun. This might come in handy when you get into a big group of roosters, maybe at the end of the field, and you see a bunch of birds flush all at once. One thing I love about pheasant or upland hunting is that you can hunt in a big group, 20, 25 people or more, or you can hunt with just you and a buddy and your dog. One of the advantages to hunting in a bigger group is that you can cover more ground, you're able to work a bigger field, push more birds ahead of you, and hopefully be a little more successful when you get to the end of your field. But on the other hand, if you've got just a couple of guys and you're motivated to go through some cover, you can hunt smaller, thicker areas with more brush. Think of areas like transitional habitat, fence lines, um, ridges with thick cover, cattails, around a pond, you might find some really cool opportunities and some birds that other people left behind moving through thicker cover with a smaller group. When you're in a bigger group pheasant hunting, you're typically out in the line, spaced 10, 15, maybe 20 yards apart, depending on the size of your group, and you're gonna push through the field, push through the cover towards your blockers. Blockers are the hunters that are standing on the edge of the line, making sure that no pheasant's gonna squeak out past you and escape as you're pushing the birds in front of you. If you're hunting in a larger group, you might also be hunting with flankers, these are hunters that will stand 10, 15, 20 yards up ahead of you on either side. Again, making sure the birds that can't escape out the end as you push them forward. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Remember to like and subscribe to at Remington 1816.